Hey, what's up, you guys? Jojo the Twelfth here. Uh, today we have another reaction video. Uh, it's by Mr. Nightmare, and the video is three creepy true lockdown war stories. The person who recommended it is one of my subscribers. Her name is a uh, Jennifer Story. I think that's her channel name. I'm sorry, I can't remember for the person that recommended it. Sorry. <sighs> sorry. I have a breath, but I'm alright. Um, so, as you guys already know, I'm not in school anymore. I got pulled out. I just, I don't want to get into details yet, so. It's early in the morning, and I really don't want to do this right now, but it's for you guys. So, let's just, uh. Let's just get into it. And I'm tired, so if you see me yawning in the middle of the video, don't worry about it. So, This is something you guys have been requesting the hell out of for a long time. Oh, fuck. It took a lot of time, but I finally found three stories that take place during school lockdowns. Alright. Number one. It was a typical boring day in calculus, only it was Friday, 7th period, meaning the week was almost over and spring break would finally be upon us. So everybody was getting antsy in their seats, I could- That's- that's how it should be. You're in the middle of class and it's almost spring break or summer. You're waiting for that clock to go down to 3 o'clock or something. You're like- Just automatically get out of your seat. <laughs> and run straight for the door so that's what I did before when I was when it was the last day of school I just last day last period of the day last class oh shit it's 3 o'clock <laughs> so I know that feeling and it's totally worth it anyway let's keep on going tell we didn't have a test that day like a lot of my friends did with their other teachers. So our teacher in the middle of class just decided to start playing games with us on Sporkle.com. Hey. He was a very laid-back teacher like that. As we were doing some brand logo quiz on Sporkle, I remember... The question is, can you name the corporate logo logos? <laughs> A lot of people actually got it right. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. Let's, uh... Let's not do that. Remember the exact moment it happened. Right after my friend answered a question, I remember the exact answer too, Adidas. The Dean's voice came through the loudspeaker. He sounded panicked and frantic as he told all the teachers this was not a drill and to go into lockdown. I actually got the chills and I got goosebumps on my arms as our usually laid back teacher too seemed panicked as he ran to turn off the lights and ushered us to the back corner of the room. We all sat in silence for about two minutes. And then the usual buzzing that came from a panel in the back of the room ceased, indicating that the school must have cut all the power. We all looked. It must be that serious if the school has to cut the power. Because whenever a lockdown happens at my school, we haven't had a serious one. We usually do drills, but. I mean. I mean, it must be that serious to like cut all the school's power. at each other realizing this must be serious a few more minutes of waiting later we heard a man screaming at the top of his lungs coming down the hallway two girls in the class actually started crying which made all of us even more scared as the screaming got closer to the classroom the lunatic sounding man started banging on the lockers while screaming I'll kill all of you it was at that moment that I started to fear for my life yeah my teacher shushed us as we all looked at each other to see our peers' reactions. The banging then moved from the lockers to our classroom door. And that Fuck the jump scares, man. Come on.
thought I heard something. Never mind. When one of the crying girls screamed no, the banging on the door only grew worse as the man started screaming, open up. Two of the girls in the class were crying out loud now. It felt like an eternity that that man was pounding at the door. But eventually, he finally continued down the hallway, screaming like a mentally insane person until we could not hear him anymore. Probably what he is. I'd say ten minutes later, though it felt like half an hour given the situation, the dean came back on the loudspeaker explaining the situation, which was surprising for him to do. He explained that some apparently mentally unstable person entered the building and assaulted the woman sitting at the front desk, causing her to flee the building screaming, and staff wasn't sure if the man was armed or not. Now this was before the school had cameras or could have- Oh, fuck no. I need a weapon, hold on. I know this isn't really a weapon, I'm just... I don't have a weapon, I'm just really itchy. Board proper security, so the school was wide open to something like this happening. I don't have a weapon. The staff had done a sweep of all the hallways and classrooms and couldn't find him, so the dean instructed the teachers to resume teaching but to keep all the doors locked and to not let any students leave for any reasons. The most disturbing part, however, is that one of the janitors working the night shift found the man sleeping in one of the storage closets near the back end of the school, and according to rumors that were spread by my peers, sticking out of his pocket was a 44 Magnum. The janitor must have done something stupid to wake him up, for example, leaving the closet door open, because by the time a police officer could arrive on the scene, the man was gone. My entire class, as far as I know, to this day, has no idea if this man was ever found, but I like to think that right now, he's being given the proper help that he needs. He needs that. <sighs> Number two. Fuck. My school has two lunch periods. First lunch period is for all sixth graders and some seventh graders. The second lunch period is for the other half of the 7th graders and all 8th graders. The lockdown happened in the beginning of October. The day the lockdown occurred, it was overcast and rainy. During the first lunch period, I heard four loud booms. I personally thought it was thunder, but the entire lunch crowd started screaming. Thanks for giving me a jump scare. Uh... Why do I feel like it wasn't a gunshot? Why do I feel like it's a... Uh... If you guys didn't know, in order to play like a prank, I used to do this with some of my friends. It was really funny, but we got in trouble multiple times. We didn't get like detention or anything. It was We just got told not to do it. It was just fun though. If you guys didn't know, at the schools I go to, they had these little salad packets that are wrapped in plastic. You have to literally open it and then take out the salad. Well, we all thought it was funny to get the spork. Yes, we had those. A spor uh, the spoon slash fork put together. So, yes, there's that's a thing. So what we did, we get the salad. Don't open it. We just say, nah, we're too lazy to tear it open and take it out. <laughs> sounds like a fucking, <laughs> sounds like a gunshot. I don't know why. We did that, but it's, we thought it was funny. People actually thought there was, you know, shootout going on, but no, there, no. It's, well, I guess we did close to gain detention, but we got excused because a lot of the principals thought it was funny. Shh. I'm not going to name any names, but it was funny. Let's continue. I was thinking those kids were just serious pussies, but the campus security came in and started yelling at people to go into the multi-purpose room, and the kids who were in line buying lunch had to throw out their lunch and come inside. Man, no, I'm taking me it with me. and some friends went inside the room along with a huge group of other kids. Everyone was curious as to what was happening. 
Our multi-purpose room is huge, and the back wall of the room is made of see-through glass. When me and my friends were rushed inside the campus, security was covering the glass with the curtains, and there were adults at every exit. My friend Eric was curious, as well as the rest of us, so he asked one of the adults what was going on. When he came back, he said, You know how right in front of TMS there's those houses? I replied, Yeah. There's this mentally disabled crazy man that barricaded himself in front of his house, and he's threatening to commit suicide and kill the cops if he's evicted. He was walking around outside of school watching kids in a weird way, Eric told us. It turned out the man was also a registered sex offender, making matters worse. Oh yeah, making matters worse, definitely. That's something to say after the story. We were stuck in the multi-purpose room for a whole hour, taking up two periods. Damn. After the whole thing was settled...
the, the speaker wasn't working. So he called the teacher's desk because I don't know how they do that. I think a line is connected. But they called, told her that there was a lockdown going on. Didn't explain anything. Just told her the instructions on what to do. She gets fucking panicked. Like, like okay, I, I'll tell him. Kids could try something. No, 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 let me stop. I shouldn't really say that. Just everyone get up and go to the back corner of the room away from the window. Of course, some kids in the class are being little, little shits and just for the hell of it because they think it's fake. They went by the windows. I wanted to say, guys, get over here. You're not supposed to be by the windows in lockdown, but they're lost. I, I just follow directions. So... After maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, we uh, hear some, not screaming, but, you know, like, <gasps> just gasping on the other room because the walls were pretty, not, they were thick, not, like, thick enough so where you could hear on the other side, like, screaming or whatever, you could hear that, but... We were just dead quiet, and then, guess what we heard? Right at our door, one of the people starts screaming. I think I was starting to cry, kind of. I don't think I remember. Hold on. Yeah, I did. I started crying. Quietly, though, because, you know. But then, it didn't happen multiple times. So... I think after after a while, I guess it just, I think maybe 20 minutes after, it just ended. The guy didn't explain the situation, but some of my friends told me that it was either a security guard testing the doors to see if they were locked or nobody was, nobody was talking, not, nothing. But e either that or there was a insane person just going around banging doors, I don't know. Or checking to see if any of the doors are open. Like he banged on the door and then he tried to open it. It didn't work. And so on and so on. I don't know. I think at that age I think it was a real person trying to break into the school. So because the security guards didn't have any weapons besides a melee and you know. Like a baton and everything. And there's a voice crack. Anyway if you guys enjoyed the video like, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And as always. Stay classy. Oh, uh, Mr. Nightmare's channel and my Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram will be in the description below. See ya.